astronaut, a professional athlete, President of the United States? All answers you might hear from small children when asked what they want to be when they grow up. Well, when I grew up, I never thought I'd be working with trash at all, but I'd really do enjoy it for some reason. And who wouldn't enjoy this job? Working with heavy equipment, loading big trucks, spending your day outdoors, and providing a vital role when it comes to the disposal of city waste. My role is to load three to four trucks and push the trash up and keep traffic going smoothly. In Dan's defense, the job is a bit more complicated. Not only do you have to know how to operate this equipment, it's critical it's operated safely. Hauling 80,000 pounds of waste down an icy stretch of road for 25 miles, three to four times a day, is easier said than done. Yeah, a lot of people do take that for granted. You'd be amazed what process you have to go through to get the trash to the landfill. A process that requires a constant stream of traffic and a synchronized staff orchestrating a day-long dance of trucks coming in and trucks going out. But Dan likes to keep life simple. You unload it on the ground out there and there's a dozer that pushes it up into a pile and then a the compactor will compact it in and, and they get the compaction ratio that we need. So an average day on the job? Each person will probably do four to five loads a day. Now before you start thinking about that old appliance you've been meaning to get rid of, or perhaps those shredded tires setting in your garage, make note. Appliances are banned, but we will accept them for a small fee, I think it's $10. Uh, the reason we can't take them is because of uh, DEQ. Nothing can be landfilled as far as a white good. Tires, same way we will accept them, but there is a, a small fee to uh, dispose of them. Not only does Dan have a hand in what comes out of your garage, he also has a thumb for your yard. A green thumb, that is. The grass process is when we got time to work with the grass. We will compost it out. And it, if you can stay at it, it'll be about four months before we'll get going. So don't give Dan any garbage, at least until he can walk you through proper procedure in doing so. You enter the yard waste gate, which is right behind me, and you'll enter on the scale, and the secretary will talk you through a speakerphone, and they get weighed right on the scale right away. They'll go into the building, she'll send you over to the building to a door, empty on the floor, come back on the scale, weigh out, pay your bill. <laughs> My job would be then to push the pile up, keep it, keep it so people can uh, keep coming in the building. If there's a semi in there that's empty, we'll load the semi up. And once at the landfill? You'll get out to the landfill and there is a scale out there that we'll drive on. The secretary will explain you how much weight you have on. We try to stay under 80,000 pounds, which is a legal weight. And then they'll direct you to a gate number. You will go out and empty the truck and they will push the truck up with the dozer. empty your truck and way back out and you're gone. So why does the city of Grand Island need a transfer station? The reason we have a transfer station is easier for the people closer to town than driving out 25 miles to the other direction. Hopefully that helps keep the community more clean so they don't have to drive out there. And for a place that sees tons of trash day after day, it's quite possibly the cleanest city facility in town. Yeah, we do spend a lot of time mowing, cleaning up, making sure everything looks nice. A facility that runs like clockwork, looks like a rose garden, and keeps the staff smiling. So how is it done? The people out here are great. Uh, Jeff's a great supervisor. We've got great superintendent and a supervisor, so that makes everything go a lot smooth. And Dan continues to keep it simple and to the point. I, I don't know. I just, like I said, I enjoy my job, and I, I look forward to retiring from the city. Never has there been a bigger smile when speaking of trash, and that smile will continue to be one of the great City of Grand Island beacons as Dan Neville remains on the job.